And I do plan to work on that next episode. Oh. Whoa! What? Does... Is that... Does that... Can that happen? Hello, you are watching Sorrow Lab. I am your host, Dr. Nobody. And welcome to something that I'm going to explain right now. So, basically... Yes, the Jurassic Park series has not come out in, like, a month. And the reason is... Well, there's a few reasons. First of all, you may remember recently on the Jurassic Park series, we had a problem wherein the world crashed, or the game, like, was forced to quit, and then it sort of screwed up stuff in the world. That's been happening, uh, like, again. It happened again. And more stuff got screwed up. So basically the world is going crazy. So that was driving me insane. And then also, I've been feeling burnt out on that world, and I have finally figured out the reason why. And the reason is that, well, I'm trying to build Jurassic Park in survival Minecraft. It's ridiculous. It's not, it's, it's impossible. You can't, like, well, it's not impossible. It's impossible for me. I can't do that. So, I'm just, the scale of what I'm trying to do was way too big. It was huge. I was trying to build, you know, the entire visitor center with, like, a massive tour track with the Ford Explorers or whatever. And, you know, this whole gigantic thing. And it just would take too many resources, too much time, and it was too hard. Also, Jurassic Craft is really a difficult mod in general in order to, like, to be able to keep, get dinosaurs and maintain them is really quite difficult. So, to remedy all of this, what I've done is we're going to start over, and I know we already went through this before, but this is will be the last time. We're going to start over in a new world, and I have combined, I've combined mods. If you remember, I did a series, it was my, the first series I did a while ago on the Fossils and Archaeology mod. So I've brought the mods together. I've combined Fossils and Archaeology with Jurassic Craft into one mod pack. And that's what we're going to be doing. This will mean that because Fossils and Archaeology is a lot simpler and easier than Jurassic Craft, we won't be waiting 25 episodes before getting a dinosaur. But we still have Jurassic Craft, so we can look into that and work on it on the side. So anyway, I hope you guys all understand. And But this this will be the last time that we restart. Like, in, uh, I mean, of course, we might you know, finish the series and, you know, go for a season two at some point, but we are not going to, uh, you know, end it prematurely this time. Because the, the other thing I've decided is that instead of trying to build, like, this giant crazy thing like I did last time, I'm just going to keep it small scale. I'm going to keep, you know, we're not going to try anything crazy, we're just going to build our little exhibits, you know, wherever and whenever, and it's, we're not going to make a big deal out of it. That is a really, you, you a really bad trade villager. I have picked this seed. I spent a while sort of generating random seeds and seeing which one I liked. Uh, we are using Biomes of Plenty, so this, uh, this is the Biomes of Plenty seed. Um, let me actually... Oops. There's the seed, if you want it, for Biomes of Plenty 1.12.2. And you should get this same world. Um, but I like it because it's quite a nice... Uh, flat open area with a couple different biomes. There's a little bit of savanna and outback over here. And we've got the plains. There's a village. And down to the south, there is a mesa biome. So we have access to terracotta if we wish to go get that. And it's generally just a nice little area. We've got journey map as our map mod. Um, and what am I actually doing right now? I should be going and getting stone. Um... So yeah, we're doing it properly this time. I'm not gonna be too ambitious, and we're just gonna sort of, ooh, gonna sort of see what happens here. I think it's actually gonna be in, uh, fun to have both mods. I originally separated the series between Jurassic Craft and Fossils and Archaeology because the mods were just so different that I thought they deserved it. separate series. But I think they're gonna work. It's gonna work much better if we use them together. Okay, there's coal here. Let me make a pickaxe. And now we can grab the coal. Ooh, 
Is that, that is a plant fossil, okay. Let me actually see, what is this gonna drop? Twig fossil, okay, we got a twig fossil. Um, in terms of the mobs, I'm really not sure. Right now I have mobs still turned on, so mobs are spawning. Um, I might turn it off in the future, but for now we're gonna keep it on and just see how it goes. We are, however, going to be using keep inventory as usual, just because I hate losing my stuff. We got 20 coal, though. So that's good. Let's make ourselves a few torches here. Offhand those. I should get more stone, actually, so I can make some other tools and a furnace. Okay, 30 stone should be fine. Let's make a an axe. Oops. Let's make an axe. And actually, I don't think we need a shovel. Let's make a sword. Just in case we need to defend ourselves against any evil creatures. Okay. Let's actually check out this village. I neglected to look at the blacksmith over here. So let's see what we got. Do you have anything of value, sir? I shall break through your wall, if you don't mind. Ooh, yes! Uh, instant upgrade for my sword, some boots, uh, a Jurassic Craft record, and another one. I'll take those. Apples. All right, so you have food and some twig fossils. Okay, that was actually a really good, really good loot chest. Let's just fill that back in. Hi, I totally didn't just steal your stuff. Oh, you're even worse than the other guy. And even, what? Seven emeralds for an iron axe that I could just make myself. I'm gonna steal your furnaces, dude. That's an awful trade. You deserve no respect. What do we have inside this place? Hi, cartographer. Ooh. Ooh, traveler's backpack. Yes, that's right, we have those. Can only be acquired for buying. Okay. Um, you know what? You, you need to stay safe, dude, because cartographers could be useful in the future. If we want to go looking for the Jurassic Craft, like the visitor center structure, I can trade with this guy and get the map to it. So I want him to be in a safe place, if possible. Uh, can you just stay here, dude? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Thank you. I'll come back for you at some point. Um, hi, what are you? Butcher. You know what? You might be useful to keep as well. Let's just do this. Be like, I realize this is kind of evil, but like, it's for their own good. I also realize that when I say that, it also sounds evil, but, uh, I, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna get a little bit of stone from here, because this, this is a hazard anyway, because if they fall in here, and it's all, it's too high for them to get out, so I'll just fix that for you guys. Uh, you're worse than the other guy, I think. Hi, what about you? Armor. Terrible. What do we have in here, though? Oh, this is a archae Ooh, an archaeology place. Porcelain volute. What do we have here? Ooh, tablets, relic scraps. Broke, I'll leave that there. The never-ending story, digging deep. Wow, so many achievements. Okay, what do we have here? Pottery shards. I uh, don't really care right now. Ooh, there's fossils there. I don't have enough iron for a pickaxe, though, so I'll leave those for now. But I will be taking this. Um, I'll replant, though. It's fine. And, yes, I will take some of the wheat. Ooh, and is that carrots? Yes, carrots are good. Good thing to have. Okay, I've raided the farms, and I've got some stuff here, but look at this. This is a paleontology big site. It's quite flooded. <laughs> Um, wow, okay, this is, ooh, is that a, that's an iron shovel, I will take that, what do we have, oh, I thought that was a chest, there's usually a chest here, oh yes, sir. what do we have here, oh my god, Triosaurus, Ceratosaurus, Gallimimus, Perso Office, what the heck, Microraptor, Dilophosaurus, there's so much stuff here, okay, I'm gonna take these, and these, I'll leave the rest for now, that's a nice egg, okay, this is, this is, uh, I'll leave the rest here, and I'll come back for it another time. What are you? Okay, paleontologist. Interesting. I'm gonna leave you for now. I don't really care. Okay, let me get, let me get out of this freaking place. 
Okay. I think that's pretty much all the village has to offer. So, do need anything in here? These houses usually have nothing. Yeah. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is take a couple of these guys out. Because um, I do need wool for a bed, and food is also good to have. Um, but I'm going to find a place to sort of set up a house of some kind. Just, uh, you know, a temporary structure that we can stay in. Okay, I think I've found a good spot. We're going to, I think, set up on this little sort of islandy type thing in the river. The, another reason I chose this seed was because of this amazing river that just goes all the way through this area, which is really neat. And we're going to be able to do something super cool with that, some sort of like boat ride thing. That would be awesome. I'm going to cut down some trees, and we shall see what this area looks like. I think this is going to be good, though. All right, yeah, this is a good place. I'm not gonna be able to set up like a proper house at this point, but what I will do is I'll sort of get a little bit of an area going where we can have our stuff and make a bed. Ooh, I can actually, might as well, make a yellow bed. Okay, so this can go here. I'm gonna put some torches sort of surrounding this area in a little bit. And let's actually grab ourselves some chests here. One, two, three, four, that'll do. Um, we'll just sort of set those up around like this. I'm sort of thinking we're going to do a um, bit of a like sort of pavilion, or not a pavilion, but like a, a covered... Well, we're just going to put a, like, a shelter that's covered but doesn't have walls, just like a wooden sort of roofed thing. So we'll do like, let's just put a bunch in here. And then, so we would do, I'm going to need some fence posts. So we'll do that and that. And then get fence posts. And so we would have like a post here. Oops. Well, that actually might be helpful. Um, we'd have a post here. I am going to have to sleep in just a second, but then we would have a post like here. What we should do is bring this down by one, because I want the roof to slant up. So we would do something like this. And then, oh, we're going to have to... Oh, there we go. And then this guy would come down by one. Bring this bring it up by an additional block on this side. Something like that. And then, of course, bring in a slab on top and slab across. Just so I wanted to bring it up one just so that it was a look could, we could have a little bit more of a slant. Okay, there we go. It was one block too high. I shouldn't have added a uh, fence on top of that, but I got rid of it. I had to redo the whole thing, which is a pain in the butt with a stone axe. It's super slow to get rid of it, but um, yeah, it now is correct. So this is what I was thinking, basically. Just a little place, a little sheltered area where we can have our stuff. I'll put a torch here in the middle. Um, and yeah, this is basically what we're going to do. I'm going to cook up some of this. And then we should probably go looking for more materials. Let's actually put some stuff away though. So what am I gonna? We'll put like dinosaur slash you know ancient stuff in here, or in related items. Um, and in here we can put like I don't know stuff like this. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm kind of bad at or like describing, <laughs> like, figuring out how I actually organize things. I kind of just go with, like, what feels like the right place for stuff, and then this can just be, like, you know, other things. So we've got, like, special stuff, old stuff, other stuff. You know? Kind of? Maybe a little bit? Sort of makes sense? Only slightly? Not really at all? Yeah. Okay. What I should do as well, since I have this, is I should make more bread. There we go, we have 13 bread now. Okay, we are going to go in search of some other materials. What's a good... That looks like a good cave right to the north there. And 
and here we are. We have arrived at the cave. What I'm really looking for... Oh, my goodness. Hi. Let's take you out. You know, let's offhand the torches as well. Light this place up. What I'm really looking for is mostly iron. Let me... Can I vein mine this? I can vein mine this. Okay. Yeah, because I can't get fossils. I want fossils, but I need an iron pickaxe. So if we can get iron, that would be really really a good thing. Let's grab this as well. Any iron. Really need iron. Ooh. Creeper. We've got a creeper, but there's also iron. Okay. That was close. I think we can get this iron. Yep. We have fossils here. I'm not going to worry about those yet. Oops. Let's grab this. More fossils. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm actually gonna grab some stone so that I can make a furnace. And then we can, um, let's go smelt this iron uh, up at the top here, wherever I came from, up here. And then we'll get some fossils. And there we go, I have another piece of iron. And just in time, my stone pickaxe is at one durability. So, here we go. Iron pickaxe now. All right, we've got an, uh, more iron coming here, but for now, I'm gonna go back down here, or wherever, where were those fossils that I saw? Were they here? Yes, there are fossils here, so let's see what we get. Okay, we got a plant fossil. Oh, there's more. We can vein mine them, good. Okay, we got a bio fossil. Okay, ooh, there's more. We got, ooh. Four biofossils now. That was a lot. Okay. And let's go down here. I definitely saw some. Yep, here's some. Alright, got some more. We got some relic scraps and some more plants, it looks like. What is, okay. Let's be sort of careful about this one. Just a bone. Okay. Ooh, but there's more iron here, which I am going to grab. What is this? Proceratosaurus. Okay, I'm going to use my plaster. And, oops, and grab this this guy here, these Proceratosaurus fossils, because that's going to be a good thing to have. Okay, we're not going to be able to do much with it for a while, but, you know, if we can get it, we might as well get it, I, I think, sort of. There were more fossils this way, weren't there? Like, where am I going insane? There were fossils, and we have Microraptor there. Don't have any more plaster, though, for that. More here. Okay, and more. Okay, so in total from that little excursion, we got eight biofossils. So we're gonna go back to the house, or to the, I call it a house, back to the shack, that's not really, back to the thing, and we're gonna smelt the rest of the iron and try and make ourselves an analyzer. Ooh, I didn't even notice. We got a Gallimimus skull. Okay, that's a cool thing. I think we're going to try and analyze that as well, see if we get any um, any DNA from it, because you can get DNA from those. Everything else can go in here. Not really too bothered about the plants right now. But we should have, yes, iron. Okay, so now we do need one of these guys, though. If I remember correctly, this should be how you make the analyzer. Yes? Yes! Okay. Research time! Yes, indeed. Okay, let's place this guy here. And let's put these inside. Well, let's actually do the Gallimimus one first. See if we get Gallimimus. Will we get Gallimimus? And... Yes! We have Gallimimus DNA! Bingo! Dino DNA! Yes. We have, we have dino DNA. We have a Gallimimus DNA. So, I'm going to put that in the old stuff chest. Um, that's good. That might actually be a good dinosaur to start us off with. We'll see what else this might yield. Probably not much, um, to be honest. It mostly gives sand and bone meal. Um, but yeah, either way, the Gallimimus is going to be a good one to start with. We also have mosquitoes and amber. So if we can get a, uh, what is it called, an extractor... We could see what we get from that as well, but that's going to be a longer way off. Ooh, wow! Compsognathus! Ooh, that's an even better starting starting dinosaur. Alligator gar? Okay. 
Compsognathus. That's actually the perfect dinosaur to start us off. That's amazing. Okay. Thank you, fossils. Okay, and the rest of it just gave bone meal. But that's fine. We can use bone meal uh, for other things as well. Um, so we've got... Let me put this away. Um, so we've got some DNA here. You see, and you see what I mean? So... Having fossils in archaeology means that we can get exciting things like this, like, much easier, and so we are not waiting for, like, several episodes before we even find any viable DNA, like with Jurassic Craft. So this is kind of a good thing. We already have a dinosaur that we can work with for next episode. And I do plan to work on that next episode. Oh! Whoa! What? Does is that does that can that happen? I did not know. Did can you can you get I guess you can. You I had no idea that you could get four. Four chickens. Four chickens from one egg. That's insane. Okay, well we have a chicken family now. Um Alright, that's good. Yeah, you guys stick around and we need your eggs. Uh at some point. Um but anyway, as I was saying, I do plan to work on the Compsognathus uh, exhibit next episode. Somewhere around here. It can be just a little thing. Um, but before then, I'm going to go do some serious um, some serious mining uh, and resource gathering. Um, so when we get back, you can expect... Uh, I'll probably have full iron gear and be ready to sort of do some stuff. Uh... But until then, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Remember to wash your hands. I've been Dr. Nobody. Goodbye.